Yes. Um, I, I've been thinking a lot about like um, regret, you know, and how how silly it is. I don't I don't regret a lot of things, but <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, you had an assignment to watch our thoughts and and see how they all just repeat themselves and how they're all just about you. And I didn't realize it until I did until I you know focused on that that I put a lot of thought into either what I'm about to say to someone or what I just said to someone. I'm like, oh, I should have said that, I should have said this, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, or, or I'll put a lot of thought, like I said, into what I might say or, yeah. you know? Uh. And um, I didn't think I was a like regretful person until I started looking at that. And I put so much time and effort into thinking, oh, I should have said that, I could have said this. And it's just another form of, of like uh, regret, but I didn't realize I was doing it until I, uh, until I realized it, you know. No. And um, yeah, that's you know, that's it. There are so many things I promise you that you don't know about yourself yet. You just don't know. I never assume that I know. I just have to have a way to see. And as long as you practice watching you, watching those thoughts and watching those feelings, you're going to see. The ego death is not a, because we're so identified with layers and layers of false identities, the ego death is deeper than what y'all think it is, or even what I thought that it was. But once you start doing it, there's no going back. It's so much fun dying, even though it doesn't feel like fun, but once you die from one layer of false identity and there's another, it's so much fun dying than thinking about dying. Once you're working on yourself, there's no greater fun than that. Working on yourself, there's no amount of money or nothing that is better than working on you, returning to the Father. It's so much fun. You can live the rest of your life all alone working on yourself. Really. Because all ideas and all identities disappear and you're not alone. You could be with a crowd, 100,000 people still. What's the name of that woman? Brenda, that woman that always had the football game now and everybody just focused on her? Taylor Swift. What? Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift? Mm -hmm. How come they like her? her I, I, the, I know she sing, right? Yeah. So it's all about her song? And her looks. And her looks. That's right, Nick. Just stand there, hold you. Um, <laughs> I was waiting to see how long he stayed there, just look and en and enjoy the conversation like I am. Go ahead. It's about her look. And her I think it's you know her looks, her, um, her. She's got this appeal, this magnetism. I can't relate to it. You can't. You can't. Oh, you can. Cannot. Oh. You know, I'm not. Probably, it's probably a generational thing too, but. Uh, yeah, that people are obsessed. So it's all to the ego. She's appealed to the ego. Yeah, they're saying that she even has, uh, is going to have a profound effect on the elections. But that, you know, the media, we can only take that right. with a grain of salt. And Kanye would yell at her and say that this, this award should go to uh, somebody else? Yes, she, he did that. To her? Yes. Oh, that was the woman he went on stage and said that to? Yes. Really? Uh-huh. Whoa. <laughs> That's amazing. How did you know that? I happened to see, well, we report the news. Oh, okay. You remembered. Yeah, I remember. Oh, okay. But I didn't know. For her, I thought it was, I was thinking it was the other singer that tripped out. And now she, the last oh, time Britney I saw her, Spears. she tried to, she had a knife, a sword in her room doing this. <laughs> What's her name? <laughs> Brittany, I think it's Britney Spears. That's her name? Mm -hmm. Well, she had this knife. Now that her dad is not her mentor anymore, she's like in her room with a knife, and the dogs are around her. If I don't have dogs, I go hide under the bed, because you don't know if that's coming next. <laughs> you just don't know. Right. But anyway, it's amazing to see the uproar of this one person like that. But it's all for the ego. It's the thrill. The media push her, they keep her in the light. When she's at this game, they make sure that she's, everybody knows she's there. 
she ran down and kissed her boyfriend when the game is over. It's all for the thrill. It's all another false worship. It's all evil. Thrills are evil. We have a good feeling, that's a thrill, it's evil. We have a bad feeling, it's evil. Amazing. It's in the mind. You got to die from thoughts. And you're going to see how the world have played you with different titles and blaming other people and calling it this and calling it that. And then you'll be separated from the world. But you must die from the ego. Stop protecting the ego. If someone can make you feel something or think something, just watch that. Don't get mad at them for, for bringing that thing up in you. They've done you a favor. One guy called my show this week, and he was like, had just, his, his wife had just walked out on him. And he was boo-hooing. And that was, I'm like, okay. That's good for you to see that. Because someone should be able to walk out on you, and you feel nothing about it. Zero. Whether it's a marriage, your children, your family members, relationship, friendships, all kind of shit. Somebody want to go? Okay, gone. Bye. It doesn't even make sense. You're feeling something because somebody left you. And then you make sad songs. <laughs> my baby gone. My baby gone away. I'm so all alone. I think I want to jump in the creek. That's, that's evil. Our relationship should only be with the truth. And then we'll get along better with one another. We have real friendships and marriage ships and workerships. All 